Hi everyone, this is Pratima Naik. Today we will learn sandwich theorem or pinching theorem or squeeze theorem or it is also called two policemen and one drunk theorem. Let us start from a limit question. What is the limit x tends to 0 x square sin 1 of over x square? Is it 0? Is it 1? Or limit does not exist because it is 1 upon x square. How to find the limit x square cos 1 upon x when x tends to 0? Is it 0? Is it 1? Or limit does not exist because this is 1 over x. What do you think? Confusion? So, for this type of question, we should learn this sandwich theorem. To find the limit of this type of confusing and complex trigonometric functions, we use sandwich theorem or it is called pinching theorem or it is called squeeze theorem. This is also known as two policemen and drunk theorem. There is an interesting story associated with the sandwich theorem. It states that there are two policemen escorting a drunk. Both these policemen enters a cell. Then, regardless of the fact that drunk is obling, he must enter the cell too. This is exactly the way this theorem is used. This is used to estimate the value of a function at a point x by using two functions in the neighborhood. Now let us learn the theorem. Let L be an interval having the point A as a limit point. Let G, F, H be functions defined on L except possibly at A itself. Suppose that for every x in this interval L not equal to a, we have g of x is less than equal to f of x is less than equal to h of x. And also suppose that limit x tends to a, g of x is exactly equal to limit x tends to a, h of x is equal to capital L. Then we can say limit x tends to a, f of x is equal to capital L. Or we say the middle part is squeezed or sandwiched between the left and right parts. So it must approach the same limit as the other two do. Like two policemen and the drunk enters to the cell. This theorem in the same question. What is the limit x tends to 0 x square cos 1 upon x? So, you have understood the theorem. We have to put this function in between two other functions whose limit point will be equal. So, we first bound cos 1 upon x which is real for all x is not equal to 0. So, we know that the value of cos function is always in between minus 1 to 1. So, we will write cos 1 upon x is greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to 1. Now, we will multiply all the three parts with x square so that the middle part will become our function. So, minus x square less than or equal to x square into cos 1 upon x is less than or equal to x square for all x is not equal to 0. As x tends to 0, the left hand and right hand both approaches 0 since limit x tends to 0 minus x square is also 0. Limit x tends to 0, x square is also 0. So therefore, by applying squeeze theorem, the middle part fx is forced to approach 0. And this middle part is, we say, squeezed or sandwiched between the left and right parts. So, it must approach the same as other two. So, limit x square cos 1 upon x x tends to 0 
is equal to 0. Let us verify the result from graph of these functions. This red one is y is equal to minus x square, blue one is equal to y is equal to x square, and this black one is, is our function fx is equal to x square into cos 1 upon x. Now, please note that here you are getting uh, limit x tends to 0, y is equal to minus x square is also 0 and y is equal to x square it is also 0 and the limit x tends to 0 x square cos 1 upon x is also equal to 0. Coming to other question we have mentioned in the beginning what is limit x tends to 0 x square sin 1 upon x square. We first bound sin 1 upon x square which is real for all x not equal to 0 uh, between minus 1 to 1. Minus 1 less than equal to sine 1 upon x square less than equal to 1 for all x not equal to 0. Now in the same way we will multiply all the three parts by x square so that middle part becomes our function x square into sine 1 upon x square. Now if you will observe as x tends to 0 the left part approaches 0 as well as the right part also approaches 0. Limit x tends to 0 minus x square is 0 and limit x tends to 0 x square is also 0. So therefore by squeeze theorem the middle part fx is forced to approach 0. So limit x tends to 0 x square sine 1 upon x square is equal to 0. This is the verification of the result. Now let us learn another interesting application of Sandwich theorem. Limit x tends to 0 sin x upon x is equal to 1 and limit x tends to 0 tan x upon x is also equal to 1 when x is measured in red. We know that limit x tends to 0 cos x is equal to 1 and cos x is continuous in near 0 and cos 0 is 1. So we will use this to prove limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is 1. Now please observe this figure. Here we have taken CAB angle as x radian and AB we have taken as 1 unit. An arc is drawn at A taking radius as A or equal to AB. So h is equal to 1. Now in triangle APC, CP by AC or perpendicular by hypotenuse is equal to sin x or CP upon S is equal to 1, so it will be sin x or CP is equal to sin x. Similarly, we will go for triangle ABD. Here BD upon AB is equal to tan x perpendicular by base or CP by 1 because AB is 1 is equal to tan x. So BD is equal to tan x. So now we will be taking the help of triangle ABC, sector ABC and triangle ABD to use in the theorem. Now we will find area of triangle ABC. Triangle ABC will be half into base is 1 into perpendicular is sin x. So half sin x. I will get area of sector ABC. We will apply the formula half into radius into angle in the radian. So half into 1 into S, x that will be half x. So now we will go for area of triangle ABD. It will be half into 1 into tan x. It will be half tan x.
area of triangle ABC is equal to half a sin x, area of sector ABC is equal to half into x, area of triangle ABD is equal to half into tan x. Now, area of triangle ABD is greater than area of sector ABC is greater than equal to triangle ABC. So, half tan x is greater than equal to half ax is greater than equal to half sin x. Now, dividing throughout with half sin x, we get 1 upon cos x is greater than equal to x upon sin x is greater than equal to 1. Or, taking the reciprocal, we will get cos x is less than equal to, in equation change, sin x by x is less than equal to 1. So, cos x is less than equal to sin x upon x less than equal to 1. Both cos x and sin x by x are even function. And this is valid for any non-zero x between the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Again, the left hand side expression cos x is continuous near 0 and limit extends to 0 cos x is equal to 1. So, we are getting expression 1 less than equal to sin x upon x is less than equal to 1. Now, applying Sandwich theorem, the limit of sin x upon x will be forced to be 1. So, we get limit extends to 0 sin x upon x is equal to Again, we will visit the same concept. Cos x is less than or equal to sin x over x less than or equal to 1. Now, divide throughout by cos x. We will get 1 less than or equal to 10 x upon x is less than or equal to sec x. And now, both sec x and tan x by x are even function. And this is valid for any non-zero x between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now, sec x is continuous near 0. Sec 0 is 1. So, limit extends to 0, x sec x is equal to 1. So, 10x upon x lies between 1 and 1. So, limit 10x by x tends to 0, 10x by x is also equal to 1. Now, let us take another example. Limit x tends to 0, x square e raised to the power sine 1 upon x. Now, we will bound the function minus 1 less than equal to sine 1 upon x less than equal to 1. Taking exponential function e raised to the power minus 1 less than equal to e sine 1 upon x less than equal to e to the power 1. Multiply apply all the three terms by x square. We get the middle part as our function. So, x square e raised to the power minus 1 is less than equal to x square e raised to the power sine 1 upon x is less than equal to x square e raised to the power 1 for all x is not equal to 0. As x tends to 0, limit x tends to 0 minus x square e to the power minus 1 is 0 and limit x tends to 0 x square e to the power 1 also approaches 0. Therefore, by squeeze theorem, the middle part fx is forced to approach 0. So, limit x tends to 0 x square e raised to the power sine 1 upon x is also 0. I hope you have understood better. You can practice some more questions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel.